What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So another week gone and another Chargers defeat. And I think in answer to my video last week, no, the Chargers are definitely not going to the playoffs this year. The hope now the rest of the season uh, that we don't put too many wins on the board, we get a good draft pick and we have some serious movements around in the coaching staff and potentially at the head coach role. What do you guys think? Anthony Lynn, should he stay or should he go? Let me know below in the comments. So what can we say about the Bills game? So first drive looked good offensively. We've got Austin Eckler back. Uh, the first drive revolved entirely around him and obviously Keenan Allen finishing it off with the touchdown. It's good to have Eckler back. Obviously Justin Jackson didn't really get going this year and now he's out injured for the rest of the season. I think Joshua Kelly needed the experience there. He was always going to be the backup sort of for the next couple of seasons. But I think Austin Eckler now, um, he's got that opportunity, number one running back. Hopefully he can see out the rest of the season healthy. In terms of the defence, it was good to see Bosa back at his best. Obviously Ingram, not too sure what the future holds for him. I think potentially we're going to see him go in the off-season. So it's good to see Joey Bosa putting up those big numbers, getting in the backfield and disrupting Josh Allen and getting those sacks, which is what we need him for going forward with this team. But anyway, I'm not going to analyse the game too much. We all saw what happened. I'm just frustrated with the play calling. I mean, the fourth quarter, we got three takeaways. Granted, we did give away one ourselves, um, but we had the opportunity to make it a one-score game in the fourth quarter. We did get it back um, and then gave up that field goal to them. Let's just give a shout-out to their kicker, spot on the whole game. Obviously, we missed that extra point earlier on in the game. Ultimately, it didn't make too much difference because we made up with the two-point conversion. Um, but that Hail Mary, I mean... Justin Herbert to get away from the pressure, give himself time to heave the ball downfield. I mean, when you're at fourth and what was it, 27, I think just throwing it anywhere where you've got a receiver in the area is good enough, really. Just let them have a chance at it. And we saw uh, Johnson came down with it with all of those Bills defenders around him. Managed to come down with it, got it to about the two yard line. But what the hell was that play call on the next play? Obviously, you've got seconds left in the fourth quarter. You're two scores down. We go up and we run the ball. I mean, what are we doing? The clock keeps going. And then obviously the shambles of the play at the end as well with the like quarterback sneak with like two or three seconds left. But it's the play before that. Why are we not either throwing the ball so the clock stops if it's an incompletion and we don't get the touchdown or just kick the field goal, give ourselves the opportunity at the onside kick. You never know what's going to happen. I know it's a very slim chance, but we have seen it this year with the onside kicks. It's like kick the field goal go for the onside kick and you've given yourself an opportunity. Obviously, there was no opportunity there as soon as we went down to run the ball. The clock's running down. It's an absolute shambles. Once again, we're a bit of a joke of the NFL because clearly the coaching staff don't have a clue what they're doing. Um, but yeah, that's that off my chest. Let me know what you think below about that play call there at the end and what you think needs to happen going forward. You now the rest of the season, we can just sit back and just enjoy it. Um, there's not much for us to play for. Let's hope that we can keep the players healthy. Let's hope that Herbert carries on. He looks well in line to get the Offensive Rookie of the Year. Um, so, as I say, let's just hope we don't pick up any injuries, get the staff sorted out, get, hopefully, a high draft pick. It looks like we're going to be at least top 10. Get the support we need around Herbert and push forward going into the 21-22 season. Thanks for watching, guys. Give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below any video suggestions you want to see me do. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.